Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by nickel developer Poseidon Nickel, ASX code POS. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Poseidon Nickel, Peter Harold. Hi Pete. Hi Matt. In an environment where nickel sulphides are becoming increasingly harder to find, Poseidon Nickel is sitting on about 400,000 tonnes of nickel across its Black Swan and Lake Johnson projects in WA and notably both have mothballed mining plants already on site from relatively recent historic operations that are waiting to be kicked back into production. The company also owns a pile of gold-rich tailings from historic gold mining near Windara in WA and those tailings were the subject of a recent deal that could possibly bring in some millions of dollars for the company. Okay, Pete, we'll get into that deal in a minute, but firstly, just how big is the resource on those gold tailings at Windara and where do they come from? Yeah, look, there's about 6 million tonnes at about 0.84 grams per tonne gold and about two grams of silver. So you've got about 160,000 ounces of gold and about 400,000 ounces of silver. And they came from some old western mining uh, projects, Beasley Creek and Lansfield, that were developed after they did the nickel. Okay, so you've done a deal with a private company by the name of Green Gold Projects to treat those tailings. What does that deal look like? Who gets what from it? Yeah, look, basically, if it all goes according to plan, we're going to end up with about 1.25 million bucks in cash and an 8% free carried interest. Okay, so Green Gold Projects, who are they and what do they bring to the table? Yeah, look, they're a Jakarta-based tailings treatment and technology company, so they have proprietary technology that treats tailings and they actually operate at the moment now at Morgan, Queensland, where they're pulling out some copper and gold as well. Okay, so I know Poseidon did a definitive feasibility study on these tailings some time ago and I'm guessing some of the assumptions may be a little out of date now, so a caveat there, but let's do a quick run through on some of the key numbers from that DFS. So firstly, how many ounces do you look like recovery? and over what period of time? Yeah, about 55,000 ounces over about a 45-month period, Matt. And at the time that you did that DFS, did you wrap a net present value around the project? Yeah, look, we did, and that was at about $20 million, but that was at a gold price of current US dollar, but the slightly higher exchange rate, so that the numbers would actually be a bit better than that using a 68-cent spot today. And what about an estimated internal rate of return? Yeah, 45 to 50%, so very good. Off a capex of what? Uh, about $25 million. And most importantly, Importantly, what about net cash flow? What did you expect it to spit out over that time? Yeah, somewhere between 25 and 30 million Aussie dollars. So nice cash flow. Peter Harold from Poseidon Nickel, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.